I'm Dr. Katrina Johnson, a workplace specialist, coach, and consultant. I'm here to talk to you today about putting your brain to work. We're going to take this both from a manager's point of view as well as the view of a direct report. Well, I want to take a minute to just highlight what neuroscience is telling us. One of the main concepts I want to get across right off the bat is a concept of neuroplasticity. If we think that the brain is done, then as leaders and as managers, how can we expect to change behavior? So first we're going to talk about the limbic system. It's the evolutionarily older system that's involved in the fight or flight mechanism. It's really about survival. The prefrontal cortex is evolutionarily newer. So we can think of the limbic system as sort of the engine that revs up and gets us going. In contrast, we can sort of think of the prefrontal cortex as the steering wheel and the brakes. It's involved in things like decision making, planning, organizing. So the point I'm trying to make here is that sometimes when resources are limited, those two systems end up almost competing against one another. In the face of emotion, we often get too much arousal, which tends to lead us, most cases, towards avoidance. But when we can keep that level of arousal right in the middle, we tend to go more towards approach. It turns out there's a sweet spot, and it's right about here. Moderate arousal, high approach. What we want to focus on is how to keep yourself at this sweet spot and how to keep your team at this sweet spot. Thank you very much for your time today. I've really enjoyed talking with you. I hope that you learned something today that will help make you a more effective manager and a better leader.